Let's make my essence wind quilt pattern using fat quarters and background yardage. For the fabrics, I am using the Season of Tribute Roots of Nature by Bonnie Christine and Cloud in Deco Stitch all from Art Gallery Fabrics. I will have a link down below in the description for you to purchase from a quilt store that I trust and also personally shop at. Now for this pattern, I highly recommend that you start your fabric as we will be working on the bias. Now with each fat quarter, you are going to cut two 10 inch squares, then cut them at a 45 degree diagonal to create four half square triangles, followed by eight three inch squares. Now I will have that free PDF pattern available down below in the description and Essence Wind is available in five quilt sizes, Baby Throw, Twin, Queen, and King. Then as a bonus for each fat quarter pattern, I will have a cutting diagram within the free PDF pattern. That way there is zero guesswork for you all. Then with your background fabric, you will be cutting the same amount of three and a half inch squares as your fat quarters, and you will be cutting five and a half inch squares, also cut at a 45 degree diagonal to create half square triangles. Now I've already cut everything out just to make things quick, but let's go ahead and create a block. So first we will select two background fabrics and two same print three inch squares. Then with the background fabric on the wrong side, draw a 45 degree line with a fabric marking tool. Then place your background and print three inch squares right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam allowance on both sides of the line you just drew to create a total of four half square triangles. Then with those half square triangles, go ahead and create a pinwheel block and sew everything together with a quarter inch seam allowance. Once your pinwheel block is completed, take two of the larger background half square triangles and one matching print half square triangle and create this layout. Then with the background half square triangle, we are going to sew it to the left side of our pinwheel and it will be a little bit larger, but just make sure that your bottoms are lined up together. Next, we are now going to sew the background half square triangle to the top of our pinwheel block, which will now be a perfect fit, but still make sure the right side is all lined up together. But once you have your pieced half square triangle completed, it is now time to sew the matching print half square triangle to the unit. Now this piece will be larger than needed, so just eyeball and center it as best as possible and sew it with a quarter inch seam allowance. At this time, do really take your time because we are going to be sewing on the bias and it is such a large piece or a large section. Now this is why I recommended to starch in the very beginning to help out if needed, but do not stress over it too much because I did make this block slightly larger than needed. So then that way, once you're done sewing it together, we will now square our block to a nine inch square. But that's it. You will just repeat these steps until you have made enough for the quilt size that you have selected. And then once all of your blocks are finished, it is time to lay your quilt out. So first you are going to start with a corner block to offset the pattern. Then for the columns, you will be creating a herringbone pattern by keeping the same light prints within that herringbone. Then as always, sew your blocks together to form rows. And then lastly, sew the rows together to complete your quilt top. And here is what my quilt top looks like all finished. This honestly would be an amazing quilt to custom quilt, which I wish I could if I had the time right now. But anyways, as for the backing, I am using the matching fleece print from this collection, as well as glide thread in celery. And here is what my Essence Wind quilt looks like all quilted out. I do hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial and if you could please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project.